Hello, today I'm here to give you guys the latest update on the tourism policies and the visa policies here in Vietnam. For those of you that don't know me, I am Gamer Abroad. I've been living in Vietnam for three years and I've been here through the entire COVID pandemic. And in today's video, I'm gonna keep you guys up to date. It is Monday afternoon, it is one day before March 15th when Vietnam is expected to open the borders to international tourists. And as of yet, we still have no visa policies. The Ministry of Health has proposed that those entering Vietnam do not need to have COVID vaccines or certificates proving they have recovered from COVID. They have also proposed that there be no quarantine restrictions, that people entering Vietnam should only provide a negative RT-PCR test that is valid within three days of entering the country or 24 hours via rapid testing once entering the country. And these rules do not apply to children under two. They are also proposing that no tests will be needed after arrival if you're able to provide a negative COVID test that's valid within three days of entering the country. Also, all tourists must comply with local regulations such as wearing masks when in public. All arrivals must use the PC COVID application on their phone. It's a health declaration application and all it's used to do is to track your health. If you have any COVID-like symptoms such as sore throat, fever, cough, runny nose, those are to be reported to health authorities immediately. Children under two will require no COVID test and will be allowed to freely participate in all activities with their parents. But as of now, the current regulations still remain. Like I said, this is just a proposal and it's only one day before the borders open to international tourists. But as it stands right now, all tourists must come fully vaccinated and they must self-isolate for 72 hours. With barely a day to go until the resumption of international tourism, that was announced by the government, there has still been no final visa policy set. Folks in the tourism industry in Vietnam are very discouraged because of the lack of the final decision. They are worried that tourists will instead choose neighboring countries like Cambodia, Philippines, and Thailand, which have fully reopened their borders with no quarantines or COVID tests. Because of there being no final decision on tourist regulations, people in the tourism industry will not be prepared to accept international tourists until late April, and instead are now focusing their time now on solely domestic tourists. However, Vietnam has several advantages over neighboring countries here in Southeast Asia, including their natural beauty, their rich culture, and fantastic cuisine, and not to mention their luxury tourism. Vietnam has many UNESCO recognized heritage sites with over 3,000 nationally recognized relics and 5,000 provincially recognized ones. Tourism industry experts are urging the Vietnamese government to issue long-term visas to countries like the U.S. and China, where the tourism industry is very large, in order to encourage more international tourists from those countries. Before the pandemic, Vietnam did not require visas from any tourists from 24 separate countries. Unlike their neighboring countries, such as Singapore, which didn't require visas from 158 countries, Thailand, that didn't require visas from 61 different countries, Malaysia at 155 countries, and Indonesia at a whopping 169 countries. Several ministries have proposed that the government resume the exemption policies that were set forth before COVID. But still, one day before the grand reopening of Vietnam, there has been no final decision as of yet. As of March 13th, the health ministry has confirmed 209,000 new cases of COVID in 62 cities and provinces. The COVID-19 death toll in Vietnam has rose to 41,000 with the confirmation of 95 deaths just this Sunday. The Public Emergency Operations Center said that Vietnam has had a total of 5 million COVID cases with only 0.3 of them coming from foreign tourists. Experts say that Vietnam should be confident on the reopening of borders on March 15th, and they should not worry about foreign infections affecting the community. They said that because of the experience and current capacities of the healthcare system here in Vietnam, there should be no need to worry about foreign infections affecting the community, that the healthcare system will not be overloaded, and we should quickly resume tourism and economic activities here in Vietnam. By the way, guys, if you guys are an American citizen, and you're not sure how to obtain your passport, I made a video outlining in full detail how to obtain an American passport. It is a step-by-step -step process. If you're thinking about traveling to Vietnam, even though there's currently no visa policies set, 
I highly encourage you to use iVisa.com and obtain an e-visa before arrival. And if you want to support me, I will include an affiliate link below. You can also do a Google search. There are e-visas provided everywhere, but always the best and cheapest place to get an e-visa is the government website. But as of now, there are no policies set. The previous footage I shot this afternoon and the following footage I actually shot this afternoon. But now it's about 8.30 p.m. at night. I've been watching the news pretty closely for any kind of updates. It'll be March 15th in less than four hours, and still there's nothing. So as it stands right now, the ministry has not accepted the proposal, so the old regulations are still in effect. You must arrive fully vaccinated or prove that you've recovered from COVID, and you must self-isolate for three days. If you are not vaccinated, you will be expected to self-isolate for seven days and take three COVID tests, and they must all be negative. Um, very disappointed by this news. I was kind of hoping we'd get some, some more information. Also want to let you guys know that all the information I shared with you on this video today was provided to me by VN Express, which is a Vietnamese uh, newspaper, but they have an international version, which is translated into English so I can understand. So if there's any inaccuracies in what I'm saying, don't take it out on me, take it out on VN Express. So it's one day before the borders reopen to international tourists. I'll be excited when they finally announce some policies if you guys learn anything, please leave it below in the comments so we can keep my thread up to date. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Adam, also known as Gamer Broad. On my channel, I take you through my life here in Vietnam, my thoughts and my feelings as I live and as I travel around Vietnam. I really appreciate everybody's likes, everybody's subscriptions, everybody's comments, everybody's positive feedback. And if you have any negative feedback, smash that dislike button and let me know what it is I can do to improve. But until next time, stay awesome. Good?